it's Bobby aka Paginator and I've got a little mail time fun for you today. Um, this first thing I'm going to show you didn't actually come in the mail. Um, one of my neighbors, who's also one of my former students, brought me this yellow bag that says have a good day in quarantine. And it's just full of fun little items and it was so, so sweet of her to do. And everything is yellow. Um, so it's just very bright and happy. So we start with a bath bomb, which is in the shape of a pineapple. Very excited about using that. We also have some honey, um, that says calming, moisturizing, soothing lotion. And we have some lemon zesty scrub. A yellow shower thingy. I, I never remember what these are called because, yeah, those things. Some Burt's Bees lip balm, some Swedish fish candies, and some Butter Rum Lifesavers, which are my favorite kind of lifesavers. So that has been really, really cute and enjoyable to just look at the past couple of days and see all these fun, bright yellow things, and I will be using them during this weird quarantine time. All right, so now we're down to the mail. I just came back from the post office, and when I walked in, the gal that works there um, says, oh, I put something in the fridge for you. And I knew immediately what it was. I am super excited about this package. We will just rip into it, and I will show you what I ordered for myself as a little treat. So within this package is another package, and so on, so it might take a second to get to the goodness that is inside. Um, yesterday, as I'm opening this, I'm going to talk a little bit. Yesterday was not a good mental health day for me, and this being stuck inside, living completely by myself, is starting to get to me, and I knew that would happen. And for a long time, I've been wanting to just order myself some macarons just to have a special treat, and here they are. So there's a little note that came with them, and it says, Thank you for trusting me to bake for you. I hope I have brightened your day a little bit with my sweets. Just wanted to assure you that I took all the essential step-by-step -step to make a safe, healthy, and sanitary product. Your health is extremely important to me, and I thank you for staying home and ordering online. Um, to make you happier, I made a code in my website and offer 20% off of most of the boxes. Um, this is from LaylaLove.com. I will hold up her website there for you if you want to go look there. Now, I have been been watching the Great British Baking Show, which is probably why macarons had been on my mind. Um, let's take this off so we can take a look at the cookies. If you don't know, they're this, these French cookies that they are very difficult to make, so I haven't even attempted it, and I ordered a six pack. Now these are not going to be just devoured because these are such special cookies. These are going to be kept in my fridge and maybe I'll have maybe I'll have this yellow one when I enjoy some of my other yellow products from my little gift bag there. But they're just going to be saved for days when I really need a pick me up. We just got word that our school in the state of Wyoming is going to be canceled through April 17th and it could be so much worse, so I should be grateful, but I was just so bummed when I got that news. It's like, I miss my students. I want to go back to real life. <laughs> and I know you all can identify with that feeling because I'm sure you all have real lives you want to get back to as well. It's just, yeah, it's the situation that we're in. Now, the other package that I have um, that came in the mail is also a really exciting thing. It is Harry Potter related. It is not a book but it is kind of a book. You'll see when, when I show you what it is. So give me one second. All right, so you can see this package got a little bit um, misshapen. 
in the shipping. I really hope that the contents are still safe and protected inside the box. This is, drum roll please. I'm assuming you all are doing a drum roll for me. Still not quite there, keep drum rolling. Da, 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 da. It is a Ravenclaw planner for 2020. Yes, I know we're almost at the end of March of 2020. I don't care. It's just, yeah. This came from Conquest Planners, and they were doing an offer, like a discount something or other, a uh, week or two ago when I was messing around online, so I ordered this. And since I am a Ravenclaw, of course I had to get the Ravenclaw one. And yeah, I just decided, you know what, I'm going to abandon my other planner and just go with this one because I just am going to. Um, we're going to take a look inside. So as we open the front cover, we can see one of these. The, you can remove these and pop into whatever day you want to keep your place in the year, which is very handy. Um, Let's see, okay, so we've got some goal pages, reminder pages. What else is going to be fun and exciting in here? Ooh, lots of calendars for the next two years. We've got some grid dot pages if I wanna do some more bullet journaling in there. That looks like fun. I'm gonna skip ahead to the month of January so we can see what happens in each month. So. Each month starts with one of these nice pages here. And we've got organization page, calendar for the month. Okay, and then we've got some weekly calendars, planning out things by, um, by the week. So we've got a few of those. And then important dates and things to do and reminders for that month. Okay. We have basically the same thing for all of the other months. And it just continues like that throughout the year. At the end, after December, we have some lined pages. If I want to take notes or write down things about planning or projects. And then we also have a year in review page and then some sticker pages with lots of Ravenclaw goodness and yeah this is just going to be really fun to play with so as of today I no longer am using my other planner I'm just sticking to the Ravenclaw one and I'm very excited about it mm -hmm. All right, I believe that's all I have to share with you today. I hope you guys are doing well, that you're staying safe, that you're inside if, and at home if you're able to be. And if you are working, thank you for working um, so the rest of us can stay at home. Um, yeah, I will have a blind date with the book um, unboxing um, next week, I believe, as long as my package arrives. I think it's coming on Monday, so... Let's keep our fingers crossed for that one, and uh, I guess that's all I have to share with you today, so have a wonderful and bookish day. Happy reading. Adios.